Hello, beloveds. Thank you for joining me, Unicorn Unicron, for Can This Heal Me? It is my honor to have your attention. Today, we're going to be talking about a technology called PEMF. PEMF is P-E-M-F, and it stands for Pulsating Electromagnetic Frequencies. The device that I have in my home is featured here. This is a PEMF mat that is also filled with crystals that also utilizes heat, and it also utilizes infrared technology to heal. I'm going to be speaking from the context of this mat, as well as my experience with PEMF, which I have encountered a few different times over the last three or four years. The first time that I tried PEMF, I was at a restaurant, kind of like a hippie restaurant, and they had a mat that you could lay down, and they suggested a donation of about $8, and you could lay down and try this PEMF mat. And I had no idea what it was, but they had a book that explained it. So as I was doing it, and as my friends were doing it, I was reading this book, and it basically said that PEMF is this wonder cure for so many different ailments and it fluffs up your cells so as you lay on it it actually takes your cells which are sort of deflated and it electrically charges them so they're perky and plump again and then your cell can deliver nutrients and energy to the rest of your body more oxygen etc then after that my friend was very interested in PEMF so I traveled with him to a facility where you can actually get PEMF treatments or purchase PEMF uh, devices and so we went and we saw these devices, which the actual mat that she's laying on is a PEMF mat. So that's actually producing a PEMF signal. And then these paddles and the other attachments actually are amplifying the signal. I think there's other coils inside of here that sort of work in tandem with the coils and the mat to really amplify it. These devices are much more powerful, okay? The mat that I have cost me about $600 Okay, this is about a $600 device. These mats, uh, you can see over here on the right side, this is the box that generates the frequency for these ones. So these are going to run you between, I don't know, $5,000 to $25,000 um, a piece, depending on what kind of technology you get. That being said, you can go to these. Sometimes you can find um, healthcare providers or sales establishments like this one that will allow you to try out the PEMF or buy a package and be able to use it regularly. So if you're interested in using it, you, you can probably find it pretty easily without shelling out the large amount of money. The mat that I got, um, I was wanting to get it for quite a while and I just wasn't sure if it was really good or if it was a really good idea. And I want to tell you that I think it's pretty good and we'll get into why. So let's go ahead. We, uh, what is PEMF? I think we covered that. Let's talk about how does it work. It works by sort of creating a magnetic field, and it's an electromagnetic field at a pulsating rate, and those different uh, sine waves <laughs> uh, change based on um, the type of PEMF it is. They have different types, but I think they usually just use one. I couldn't find a lot of information about that. But basically, uh, the energetically the energy recharges your cells. The original PEMF devices consisted of a Hemholtz coil, which generated a magnetic field, and you would sort of crawl inside this magnetic field. But now the majority of PEMF wellness devices resemble a typical yoga mat in dimensions, but are thicker to house several flat spiral coils to produce an even electromagnetic field. A frequency generator, like I was showing you the box, um, either a small box or a big box for the strength, is then used to energize the coils to create a pulsated electromagnetic field. Where did this come from? This actually came from veterinarians. This came uh, as an attempt to more quickly heal the broken legs of racehorses, strangely enough. Um, they, let's see, <laughs> after the design and manufacture of several types of electromagnetic signals during World War II, magnetic and electromagnetic fields began to serve as therapeutic modalities. And they actually were using electricity to heal people a lot earlier than that. And one of the books that really makes me believe that this works is called The Invisible Rainbow. And The Invisible Rainbow is a book that discusses the effect of electricity on the body and the effect of electrical fields on the body. And when they first invented electricity, it was much more easy to determine the effects that electricity and proximity to electricity has on the body, which is a profound situation, okay? We just don't know that electricity is causing a lot of these ailments, such as panic attacks. A lot of panic attacks 
when electricity was first invented were coming from proximity to electromagnetic fields. So as we look at the different potentials for exposure to electricity and you know the potential to use certain types of electricity, pulsating frequencies or other types of frequencies to heal the body, uh, we have to understand the body is an electrical device. The body uses electrical signals to transmit pain. The body uses electrical signals to transmit uh, pleasure. The body uses electrical signals to think, to move. This is all electricity inside of our body. That being said, uh, I think we have to be careful sometimes with the electrical devices, but I do think PEMF has a lot of studies that might make you feel safer. So let's see here. They demonstrated the effects of the electrical currents in new bone growth and then reported the therapeutic use of PEMF in humans. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump to the healing potential and I'll get into some of these studies. I'm just going to sort of read a few of the things that I found on the internet because I think it's kind of amazing. There is so much scientific evidence for the promising benefits of using PEMP for a wide variety of applications. I'm going to read you just some of these. The list is extremely long. Okay, they say peripheral vascular disease, lung disease, gastrointestinal disease, neurological disease, rheum rheumatic disease, pediatrics in general, apparently, dermatology in general, apparently, surgery, gynecology in general, apparently, <laughs> oral medicine, a bunch of things I can't pronounce, immunity, inflammation, reproduction, tumors, etc. Okay. Like I said, I think a lot of uh, athletes use this to heal themselves, to recover after working out, after um, doing hard training. And the they're trying to figure out, they don't know exactly how or why PEMF works, but they think that it's because of the transmembrane coupling. They think that transmembrane receptors are probably sites of cell amplification. And so they think that the PEMF is actually associated to amplifying the transmembrane coupling and allowing it to happen much more easily, acting um, as an agonist of A2A and A3 adrenocyne receptors. If that means anything to you, that's how they think it might work. It also uh, looks like it might be inter interfacing with some signaling pathways of different kind of proteins in your body that kind of facilitate healing. And PEMF is an empirically based treatment. They see that it works. They don't know how it works. Despite intense research, they don't actually know how it works exactly. So we need to keep researching it. I think that's really interesting. Skepticism. I don't have a lot of skepticism. I'd love to say that uh, I love the math that I have. It's something that I use every single day. Like I said, it's very heavy and it's not easy to fold up. And that's my only complaint about it because I don't have enough space to keep it out every day, every minute of every day. So I have to fold it up and drag it in and drag it out. It is full of crystals. It's extremely heavy. And I think it should have a handle over here on the right. I think it should have some handles. That being said, that's not really a technical design, and I use the PEMF every day. Like I said, the heat of this thing, it heats up, that's amazing. That's good enough on its own. The crystals, amazing, good enough on its own. The PEMF I turn on separately, I, I actually choose to turn on the PEMF every single day. The infrared doesn't really do it for me. I don't feel super drawn to that in this case. I use an infrared lamp while I'm using this instead of the infrared um, little buttons on here and when I use the PEMF when it's on cats if I'm around cats they go crazy and they come and they crawl all over me and they purr and they throw their bodies on the mat and they they flex their little paws and they just roll around so it makes sense that this was started um with animals because animals seem to really respond to it and I really do take the cats uh, the cat's interpretation of this like pretty significantly. My rating overall uh, is five stars. I, I don't see anything wrong with PEMF. I do think in the future we're going to have the ability to sort of dial in. Like right now PEMF is just this like sort of blanket frequency which probably has some underlying detrimental effects of you know not you're not actually attuning it to the specific places that you need it. In the future, from my alien brain, I can foresee 
us really dialing in on the different frequencies that could facilitate for different types of healing, different cell growth, different membranes, different, you know, parts of the body to support different things, and then sort of really dialing those in instead of just sort of washing you in frequency. But for now, I think it's a really cool technology. Like I said, if you want to try it, you can probably just put out the feelers and see if there's anything in your town, uh, any any chiropractors or healers or, um, or doctors or massage places that actually offer this in their offices because um, it is it does seem to be like something that works. Uni bless.